Tamil actor politician Vijay has junked talks of an alliance between his fledgling party Tamilaga Vetri Kayagam and the AIDMK before the 2026 assembly election. In fact, in a detailed post on X uh, on Monday, Vijay's party has flagged a report by a major Tamil daily and has said that rumours of a deal between the AIDMK were completely false and without any evidence. The TVK also said that it intends to contest 2026 assembly elections in Tamil Nadu without allies and it has claim that it will win a majority with the help of the people of the country based on policies that have been expressed by Vijay. Remember, we are talking about Tamil Nadu, known for its charismatic politicians. Since AI DMK founder MGR or MG Ramachandran countered the DMK in the 1970s, many players, particularly from the Tamil film industry, have tried in the last 50 years to offer people of the state a third option but have not been really successful. So will Vijay succeed where many others have failed? Will his fan base translate into a strong and loyal voter base? What will be his position when it comes to issues uh, core to Dravidian politics, including the debate around Hindi imposition even need? Will he be consistent with those positions? And more importantly, can Vijay win big in 2026 without the AIDMK or a major ally? That is what we will be discussing today. Joining us now is uh, R. Rangaraj, who is a senior journalist. Uh, he also supports the TVK. Uh, we also have uh, Pula Rao, who is uh, a political analyst. Thank you so much uh, uh, for joining us. We'll also, be, uh, we'll also be joined by more experts. Uh, uh, starting with you, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Pula Rao. Sir, you, uh, how do you see this? Uh, how do you see the chances of Vijay realistically? Because uh, while he has talked about what uh, his party would be, he's formalized his party, uh, the DMK has won three elections in a row quite comfortably. There is forever this uh, question about a vacuum existing in Tamil Nadu. But who is going to really fill that vacuum of an op opposition party? You know, as you rightly said, the election is in 2026. DMK has won three of the last elections. Two parliament elections, one assembly election, outright hands down. No charismatic figure has appeared in the ADMK or in any of the opposition parties to challenge the DM. Yes, Mr. Our latest thing is Vijay has emerged. He's got a big fan base. Nobody denies that. He left film or took a leave of absence at the height of his uh, film popularity. But he is to be totally tested. Not a single test he has passed yet. Nothing so far. He has simply just said, I'm going to contest. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that, which is fine. This is a free country. But so far, we have seen nothing. And already there are talk of alliances. Two years, more than two years before the next elections. Obviously, you know the old saying, until something is officially denied, it cannot be assumed to be true. So there must have been some negotiations. Well, they have freedom to do it. They have freedom. Nobody denies it. Right. But it is too early. And it, he has taken tentative steps. There's nothing new yet. He is popular. So how do we chart this course? It is still very, very vague. Right. Mr. Rangaraj, uh, how would you differentiate uh, Mr. Vijay's entry into politics with someone like, say, um, uh, you know, for that matter, uh, even uh, um, um, DMDK's, uh, uh, DMDK party, or for that matter, even Kamal Hassan, because Vijay Kant was not really in the peak of his cinema career when he entered politics, but he was doing a lot of philanthropy, he was doing a lot of uh, other activities. Vijay is still acting in movies, he has made this entry. Do you see his career path being very similar to, say, someone like Pavan Kalyan, who has now emerged as a very strong uh, figure in the neighboring state of Andhra Pradesh, but that too after many failures? Yeah, uh, good evening. Uh, first of all, uh, a bit of a correction. I'm not a TVK supporter. <laughs> I'm merely a uh, senior okay. journalist. But I wish him well, like many there's uh, a new aspirant in uh, politics uh, has come into play. Yes. And like many others, uh, okay, everybody would like to wish him well and hope for the best. Now, the main thing about Vijay is he has, he has done well, uh, as you say, in the T20 parlance. He has begun well in the first power play. He's got off to a good start, but then he has got the rest of the innings to work on. Hmm. So uh, that's a different kettle of fish. Hmm. Uh, so the, uh, he has already grabbed attention. He is now the center of uh, attraction. And most television debates, the Tamil channels are revolving around uh, what is going to be TV, TVK strategy, who are going to be his alliance partners, if any, right. and uh, what is going to be his stand. So there's plenty of buzz and traction about TVK, but he has got to capitalize on that. 
and he has got to move on from his fan base who is, uh, whom he is converting into a political party and reach out to other sections. He has to come out with his stand on major issues in the state, whether political, social, or on education, industry, labor, um, or the role of public sector, private sector, and so on. He has to spell out his stand on many of these issues. Right. Uh, right. But a problem for him is he, he can't be old wine in old bottle. He has got to be fresh. Hmm. At the same time, he's got, he's got to appear mature. He can't give unworkable ideas. Hmm. Uh, he has to make a dent in politics. So it, it's a very uh, tricky thing. It's like a tightrope walk. Uh, so whichever way you say, every word of his is being watched, every word is being analyzed, right. every moment of his is being captured on social media and discussed and analyzed and there's a big postmortem on on whatever he says and whatever he does. So right. he's got to be careful at the same time he has to appear new and offer something different uh, to, to the political spectrum uh, as compared to uh, Vijay Kant, yes, he got about 8 to 11 percent when he began. Right. Kamal Hassan, little less, around 4 percent. Seaman is around 8 percent, but he's contesting all the seats. Hmm. That's why his word percentage is high. Right. So, uh, many experts think that he may not cross the uh, 5 to 8 percent uh, barrier on his own and he may need allies. But the important statement uh, just made yesterday, uh, that is his party spokesman, right. has uh, clarified that there will be no alliance with the ADMK. So, there's a lot of buzz of whether ADMK will align with uh, TVK, but Obviously, as I said in uh, my last show with, on NDTV, hmm. that Vijay has not started his party to make someone as the chief minister. Okay. So, obviously, he so, so be the So, he's not going to be a kingmaker, he's going to be the king himself. Okay, Kalyan yes. Raman. Uh, 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 yeah. yeah, why should he start a party to make someone as the king? Absolutely, absolutely. So that, and, and the point that you said that he will be, uh, you know, forced to in some ways, expected to work on workable ideas. We also have Kalyan Raman, senior leader of the BJP. We have uh, Professor Sandeep Shastri, who is the Lo uh, yeah. national coordinator of the uh, Lok Niti Network. Thank you both of you also for joining me on this uh, broadcast. Let me, uh, uh, let me go to Kalyan Raman first. Uh, Sir, BJP in some ways has not been able to put up a strong counter that it was uh, promising. But if you look at the vote share, it seems to have really increased. Uh, it has polled 18.27% of the votes in Lok Sabha elections of 2024. In some ways, it has dislodged the AIDMK from the second slot in 12 out of the 39 constituencies. How do you see the B future of the BJP? Because clearly, you know, in the cultural context, Vijay might be fitting in better but the BJP is also a national party. Do you think that is a handicap for the party in Tamil Nadu or do you see this uh, uh, growing? Do you see this as an advantage uh, for the BJP in Tamil Nadu? I, I take you from uh, Mr. Rangaraj because he has uh, very uh, scientifically put it across that something different must be shown. To begin with, what is this something different? Which is, it is only ideology. BJP being a party which is driven by nationalism and, and uh, cultural uh, Bharat is the only alternative ideology available to this government in either. As simple as that. What something different to which I can show, I am yet to see. So let him emerge, let him show his metal. That is for something to see. Now, looking at what had happened in 2014 and 2024, we have scored over 18% consistently in 40 Lok Sabha elections, barring 2019, in which we went into an alliance with JDOC. So, if there is no alliance, BJP is going to keep on improving on its value in terms of percentage. Right. Now, the days to come are going to be the days of growth. Hmm. Because we are ideologically driven and people are looking for a, an ideological difference, something the Dravidian parties have never been able to offer to the common. Right. That's so very interesting. BJP's so the days that are inevitable. so the days for the BJP, the upcoming days for the BJP in Tamil Nadu, you say, uh, will mark growth. Uh, uh, Professor Shastri, experts. Indeed, yes. Okay, experts say that uh, Vijay's polit politics, you know, is untested, and we may not really know um, how far he'll be consistent when it comes to critical issues. Uh, what kind of indications do you get from Vijay, considering, uh, you know, he did speak out a bit on this in the in the Vilupur Vilupuram rally of his, but uh, in the neighboring state, uh, uh, Pavan Kalyan had to ally with a major uh, party to actually come to power. Do you think Vijay will also need something like that? Uh, three points on this one. Yes, Vijay has made a splash. But let's remember he is not a third force in Tamil Nadu politics. There are already three forces in Tamil Nadu politics. The DMK-led alliance, the Anna DMK-led alliance, and the BJP-led alliance. There are already three alliances working in the politics of the state. And if Vijay emerges on his own, he will be a fourth formulation that you will have in the politics of the state. Hmm. Uh, let's also remember that 
he is trying to uh, trying to find a space for himself within the larger dravidian politics the bjp on the other hand as was said by their spokesperson just now theirs is a dravidian plus narrative where they are trying to bring in the national narrative also so i think the important question would be where would vijay pitch his stand what would be the uniqueness of what he was to offer in this uh, fourfold competition that you are having in tamil nadu uh, he will uh, his stand till now has very much been similar to the stand of the dravidian parties so is he looking at replacing one of the dravidian alliances and coming forward would he need the support of an alliance to do that i think these are early days to talk about it but two things are clear number one you have a fourth player attempting to get into the politics of the state mm. and secondly this player is looking at carving a niche for himself right. and the forces that he represents as part of dravidian politics that okay. i think are the two issues that need to be borne in mind when you look at the impact he is likely to have on the politics of the state so mark difference in the ideology is uh, uh, something that he, he will have to offer because people will at the end of the day ask him uh, what is the new thing that he is offering the authenticity of ideas will matter here mr pularao the rising stature of udayanidhi is also something that we have been noticing in the past uh, few months is that something that is threatened by vijay considering that he is a popular star and dmk also faces a lot of uh, uh, criticism when it comes to uh, issues such as uh, handling of uh, the drugs issue for that matter law and order because we also saw a spate of killings of uh, you know uh, uh, certain people so do you think that is uh, uh, that is one thing udayanidhi stature is something that is uh, uh, threatened in some ways by uh, vijay's rise every new entrant is a threat to the established order you know but how much of a threat is it is he going to divide the votes of the opposition that is we have to see time will tell how vijay is going to work out and one thing i just heard our friends mr kalyan raman and others You know, BJP on afterthoughts. They just got through the election, 2024 parliament election, very narrowly, thanks to the alliance in Andhra Pradesh, where they got 21 out of 25 MPs. Yeah. I don't think the BJP will do without an alliance in the future in Tamil Nadu. No doubt they worked hard. They got so many percent vote, but no very few seats. <clears throat> they risk their entire government by not going for an alliance. So if you look at it. BJP all around the country they're looking for allies small parties big parties so that you know they get traction hmm. and in Tamil Nadu you can take it from me that BJP will be a key player in finding an alliance will it be with Vijay or with ADMK or with both that is something that will work out on the other hand as we just reviewed each time there is a challenge before the elections parliament elections the assembly elections ever since Jayalal has get you know It has been, you know, ever since Jayalal has death, it's only the DMK which has been winning elections, hmm. the parliament elections. I mean, the assembly elections first, then the parliament elections, and before that, the 2019 parliament elections. Right. So that pattern will continue till there is a figure in the opposition, right, with a great unifier or a single big figure like Jayalal. Would any of these talent will have the advantage? That's what the figures tell me. That's what the statistics tell me. That's what the last three elections. Tell me. Right. Okay, uh, Mr. Rankaraj, you know, taking off from your own point, what kind of authenticity can we expect when it comes to Vijay's politics? He has made a stance, his positioning very clear when it comes to need or for that matter, those issues which are core uh, to Dravidian politics. There's a Dravidian model of governance that Dravidian parties say is say is more important, more uh, sort of efficient when it comes to reaching out to people. There's also welfare, which is an integral part of Tamil Nadu politics. What is the new thing that you? Think uh, which I can come up with, which can actually uh, get more voters on his side. Well, the main thrust of his uh, uh, speech at the public rally was against corruption and also against uh, family rule. But these subjects have all already been dealt with uh, 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 right from Jayalal Das days, uh, where we have criticism of the uh, DMK. Uh, the problem uh, for Vijay is he has. Position himself in the Davidian mold, and he is trying to be one more player from the uh, Davidian platform. So that kinds of uh, limits himself to a certain agenda within the Davidian uh, spectrum. Hmm. Uh, at the same time, he is not open out to BJP. Our, our friend was mentioning about the BJP 
uh, possibly having an eye on him because now that they could not get Rajinikanth on board, right. they may think maybe Vijay may be a good actor to be on their side, like okay. uh, Pawan Kalyan, as you mentioned in uh, in Andhra. But Vijay in his speech has also been critical of what he calls fundamentalism, mm -hmm. uh, though he has not directly named the BJP and uh, Prime Minister Modi. So he has said he is against that kind of politics. So uh, at the moment, it looks like he is not in the uh, likely to move towards the BJP fold and uh, or not with the ADMK. So which means he is banking on a, a totally new front. Okay. With some, okay, I'm completely uh, out of parties. time. Last word, uh, Mr. Kalyan Raman, taking off from what Pula Rao said, do you see the BJP and AIDMK coming together given that the number of challenges is increasing and it is actually better for the parties to actually uh, you know, find friends rather than be enemies? Uh, within BJP, I am considered to be a person who supports BJP ADMK alliance. Mm. And there are people within the party who have different opinions that we should go it alone. It is a matter to be decided by the central leadership. We will not have much say in it. But okay. then the party's interest will be taken into consideration in deciding a, okay. uh, uh, an alliance factor. Professor Shastri, yeah. your, your word on this. Sir. Do you see the AITMK and BJP coming together given that the uh, num the rise of uh, Vijay and also the Nidhi Stalin, you know, all of this, uh, do you think that the, these can be political aspects that could uh, bring the AITMK and BJP coming together? Also, BJP's own numbers uh, nationally. Uh, given the last uh, Lok Sabha election results, I think... There is a distinct possibility that the BJP and the Anna DMK could come together because both require the support of the other to be able to effectively challenge the DMK. And with Vijay as a new player, I think it will be interesting if the BJP uh, manages to get him too as part of their alliance. But I think the BJP would immediately focus on bringing the Anna DMK into its uh, alliance because there seems to be more uh, similarity in terms of uh, what the two believe in. But these are interesting days for Tamil Nadu politics, and given the fact that uh, state assembly elections are uh, uh, is the next major poll in the state, I think that will be the time when the realignment of forces would happen. But I would also believe that the chances of the BJP and the ADMK coming together are much stronger, because that would then help them uh, uh, challenge the DMK which has been winning continuously both the Lok Sabha and the Assembly elections. Professor Shastri, thank you all of you for joining me on this uh, show. Will Vijay be able to make a mark uh, in a state where several other political leaders from the film fraternity have failed to do so? That remains to be seen.